People who live in neighborhoods like South Central Los Angeles don't always have a lot of options when they're going out to eat because it's kind of a food desert. There's typically just fast food or uh, things you'd get at the corner store, chips, snacks, sodas. Chefs Roy Choi and Daniel Patterson have collaborated on a new restaurant called Local where they aim to give inexpensive, healthful menu options in neighborhoods that need it the most. What they've done is really a new sort of unheard of concept where you have this very inexpensive, quick service, and yet also chef-driven restaurant in areas that have not received attention from chefs in the past. We're heading to local right now, and I can't wait to try the different options on the menu. Doing? Good, how are you today? I'm good. I'm Lucas. What's your name? Caitlin, nice Hi, to meet Caitlin. you. Hi, Caitlin, nice to meet you. Looks like you have a, have a lot of really good looking things here. Yeah, so everything is really popular. It's all, you know, based on what you like and what you prefer. So maybe I could try, maybe I'll get like a bowl, maybe I'll try a burger, maybe I'll try like a little bit of everything. Is that cool? Yeah, for sure. Uh, These two are my fave burgers. Those are yours? Okay, uh -huh. great. So why don't we, you said the messy beef chili bowls, mm -hmm. good, right? Okay, so let's try that. Did you want turkey or beef, sir? Let's try turkey. Turkey, for sure. Yeah. No uh, let's get a cheese Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Let's do uh, let's do a French toast, machaca and cheese, and that's with an egg too. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Egg in the hole. For sure. So let's try the beef and onion gravy, and let's get a flatbread. So your total is going to be twenty two eighty nine. Okay. There we go. How long have you been working here? Um, I've been working here since it's open. What do you like about it? The people. I love being in my community. The food's good. You like yeah, the, the food, food is great. I eat it every day. So we don't have anything like this over here at all. And they also bought a healthy option and they bought something that we just don't have over here. So it's like the best of both worlds type. So it's really, really cool and awesome to be here, yeah. Thanks, Kaylin. No I appreciate problem. you talking to me. No problem. This neighborhood hasn't seen especially a lot of chef-driven restaurants. Do you think that's something that the neighborhood is embracing? Do you think that's something that the neighborhood wants? Do you think? I, I think it's really more of a question of why haven't we seen this before? I think there comes this assumption that people don't want this. And what we found is people want this and they need this. And they need it at a price that's affordable. I think with the Daniel and Roy, what we've seen is just two people who are using their abilities, what they're good at, to implement some kind of change. Like to literally put a, give a finger to the system, you know, in their way, and, and help people. They're actually creating uh, uh, living wages for people on staff, you know. So, and that helps to bring back a neighborhood, because now you have money flowing and they have more money flowing in, in the media community. So we'll start here with this idea, and you're looking at health and changing, creating opportunity financially. It only helps but to bring other businesses in. But hopefully those other businesses that come in have the same mind state of being a part of the neighborhood. At the end of the day, it's a choice. And all anybody wants in any situation, in anywhere in the world, is a choice. So hopefully we're providing good choices for people. You That's know. good. A lot of times you're force-fed bad food. I give it up to the two chefs having a similar idea. Absolutely. And um, you know, I give it up to the people here. I give it up to the neighborhood. I give it up to all the customers. It literally, it's not just one person, one idea. It's literally a bunch of people coming together. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. This looks delicious. So why don't we just start digging in? Um, since breakfast is the first meal of the day and this is the only breakfast item we got, I think I'm going to have myself a little piece of French toast right here. That's pretty decadent. That's pretty sweet. Absolutely bathed in this maple tasting syrup, but it tastes real good. I like it a lot. I would eat it for breakfast.
I like, and I think maybe there are some of you like me out there, you get a bowl of pasta that's really good, whatever kind of sauce or deliciousness is left over, and you just want to grab a piece of bread from the center of the table, you just want to uh, sop it up. That is, that is this. So you just get a big old scoop full of beef and onion gravy, and you can see the little pepper flakes in there. And there's everything you want it to be. It's like if your mom made a roast and whatever the drippings were. It's just an intense beef flavor with uh, the onions and the peppers as well. Except for you get a whole cup of it. I'm sort of in heaven eating stuff like this. And that's two bucks. We've got a burger. Every place needs a burger. It's a good burger. I think what sets this apart is it's got a really interesting relish on it. It's got this green onion, this scallion relish. It's nice to have a sour, nice to have an acid flavor to counterbalance fatty, salty. And in this case, that's exactly what it does. And it really, uh, it really sort of completes the flavor profile of the burger. Big messy chili bowl. Yeah. Mm. This weighs 100 pounds. This looks very tasty. A lot of people, I think, will maybe crucify me for getting turkey chili instead of beef chili. I gotta say though, I like turkey chili. I couldn't eat, say, an entire thing of this if it were just beef. Uh, turkey is lighter, it retains the flavors of the spices, I think, equally well. And it's just a lighter meat that I feel like I can eat more of. Remember when I said breakfast is the first meal of the day? Breakfast is the first meal of the day and this is the only breakfast item we got. I lied, it's uh, the middle meal of the day. So here is a breakfast sandwich. You know what this reminds me of? So this, you can see the different layers here. This reminds me of like the tamago sushi you get. It's just that kind of like dense cube of egg. In this case, it's not sweet, it's salty. And you've got this machaca beef. Now what machaca beef is, it is a reconstituted beef, but it's like a, it's like a pulled beef. You've had a pulled pork sandwich, this is pulled beef. Hell yeah. This is great. This is a great breakfast sandwich. You know, a lot of what local is trying to do is to say, you know what? A lot of places have a lot of fast food, stuff that's bad, stuff that's bad for you, stuff that's mass produced. And we're gonna do riffs on at least some of the menu items and produce better tasting and healthier, and in a lot of cases, less expensive versions. I like that a lot. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Local in Watts in South LA. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Ooh, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn.